Hello viewers, today we are going to take an uh, introduction to motion graphics and how to create your own motion graphics. Uh, so in here in DaVinci Resolve we are on the edit page and we will start just by creating a new fusion composition and just call it motion graphics create and we just drag it into the timeline like that. And uh, then we go into the uh, fusion page by clicking shift five, but move the media out to the side and grab a background and connect it. And now we have a black background, but we want a transparent background. So we go into uh, pull down the alpha channel like that. And then we select the background node and, sh and press shift space and type uh, text. We will use the text plus. Let's type in a word like that and choose a great font. I am a bit addicted to fonts, so I have very many fonts and because I really like doing motion graphics, that's a great one. And bring the size up a bit like that. So to do a reveal of this text, we could uh, select the text and press this rectangle here and now it's uh, in front of the text i mean if if we wanted to invert it so it will will be gone we do like that we invert the the mask but if we want the text to like come from the above or from underneath or from any side we could uh, use to we could just move e either the box uh, the, the mask box or we can use uh, place the masking box in one place and move the text. But let's do like this today. So we want the text to appear about here and set a keyframe for, for the X and Y axle on the center. And then we go back and pull it up like that and now we have a great reveal but it's a bit static as you can see we can also move around if we wanted to if we want to be faster than this but let's start with uh, some spline editing and this is where we can make our Animations look more smooth and fluid. There's a couple ways to do this. You could uh, uh, click in this area here and press Command A to select everything, and just press S to just make a normal S curve, uh, and that will look like this, kind of smooth. And we can also pull the one of the handles back, and if we don't want it to be like this, we could. Start pulling it and holding Option and pull it back. And now the end of the animation is much smoother. That looks quite nice. We can also do um, many presets of the ease, ease, out, ease out and ease in. So uh, if we right click here and go to Ease, we have a couple of different options here. We can go back to Linear, uh, but some cooler ones is uh, out back cubic which will look like this which makes more sense if we actually animated the text instead of the box because now the box will just uh, secretly move down and up again and nobody knows how cool your animation is but if we would do that to the text instead so we go to the text and right click in the text editor and we choose follower. Now we have these modifiers up here and we can click on that. And now we can choose uh, the duration or delay of the animation of the characters. Or uh, right now we have all characters, but we can set character, character range um, and delay type. But I always set this to default. Uh, I either used to, used to have one frame or two frames, but let's say uh, two frames since the animation is quite long. Uh, and then we go to transform 
and I want to edit this spacing but as you can see nothing happens because we need to animate it actually you can click on any any note and it will show show all the animation points for each note so we know that th this animation stops here and then we go back to the text and we read the modifier and transform and we want to animate the spacing and I want to be the spacing should be one at this point and hit the diamond and go back and just move it so slightly like that and now the animation is a bit slower but we can change the timing to one and now we will, will be faster So we can go into keyframes and see what we got. We have the text here. We can move that back a bit. Even further, something like that. Or I also do want to change this so it's not that far actually. Only like like that looks nice and we also want to do some spline editing to that one so let's go to the text and we could take away the other one that we don't want to accidentally um, replace and just do a normal S curve on that one Actually, I do want to have some bounce on the out point, so it's a bit, maybe not that much. Well, it wasn't that much actually. So now we have this, and if we also want to have some sort of background behind it, we can move this up so everything we do in here will be behind the text and everything we do up here will be in front of the text and we want a background to appear behind the text so let's make another background and drop it into the pipeline obviously i don't want this background to replace this background which has the opacity down to zero i want this background to be cropped and make some kind of shape so let's highlight that one and press the rectangle again and now we have a box with our name in it and we could change the style of that i like to use gradient and do something cool with that so we could uh, select one of the colors and choose a nicer one something like that and choose the other one and also do something nice like that and we also could make this uh, cycle through the those two colors and the way we do that is we take the playhead move it up a bit and we choose where we want it to end so i do want it to end in the in between here so well, let's hit, hit the diamond there and go back here and move the offset to the side like that we can use once or we could use ping pong which will make it cycle through like that and if we want that rectangle to be also animated in the animation so it's not just a rectangle that sits on top of everything all the time we can also use do that so um, let's adjust the height so it's not bigger than we need it to be um, and we could make it appear i want it to to like come from the middle and expand so let's hit the height and go back to the zero and like that 
so that's a nice animation right there. So that was a little introduction to motion graphics. I hope you liked this video and don't forget to like, subscribe and also comment want you if you want to see more about motion graphics and what specific needs you are uh, having right now in motion graphics and we will see how we can cover that. Thanks for today and bye.